Hi everyone, today we're going to make some pumpkin spice chapstick. It's going to be organic. Yay! Okay, so with that, let's get started. What you will need for this is some organic beeswax pellets. Mine is from Halal Every Day. Some organic pumpkin spice. You do not have to have here. You need coconut oil. Mine is organic virgin coconut oil. I am choosing to add a little bit of castor oil and a little bit of vitamin E oil. Both of those are organic as well, just for the added benefits. You will need some chapstick tubes or whatever apparatus you wanna put them in. Some pureed pumpkin. I have dehydrated pumpkin, so I'm gonna use that. The only reason is because when you use the pumpkin puree, you have to mix it and mix it vigorously to get it to dissolve completely in your liquid and your oils. So I'm gonna skip that and go with the dehydrated pumpkin because it's already in powder form. So it will disperse equally through the mixture. And you need some vanilla extract. Mine is made with organic vanilla sticks and bourbon. You will also need a mixer. I have a spoon and I have a spatula. You don't necessarily need those things. And you also need some measuring spoons. I also have gloves because I'm making this for a craft fair, so I wanna make sure I'm sanitary. And you will need something to put the liquid into your chapstick tubes. So I'm using this little dropper. I have a crock pot that I'm gonna use. You could use the double boiler system which is where you put a pot on the stove with water in it and then you put a bowl on top and you use the steam from the water that's boiling underneath to melt the mixture that's in the bowl on top so now that you know everything you need let's get started okay so I will post the recipe in the bottom in the link in the description box below I'm gonna go ahead and put my crock pot on low. I'm gonna let it cook at a slow rate and melt so that I don't lose any of the added benefits of the things that I'm adding. I don't wanna cook it too high because I don't wanna lose any of the natural vitamins and things that could be in these products that I could keep if I just do it at a lower temperature. So our recipe calls for six tablespoons of coconut oil. However, I wanted to add organic castor oil and some vitamin E oil that are both organic. So what I'm gonna do is four tablespoons of coconut oil. I don't wanna be banging it because that would get on y'all's nerves. Let me grab my spoon and try to scoop it on out. So that's one. Sorry. This is two. This is three. And this is four. Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of my organic castor oil. I'm gonna scoop that out. Castor oil is very thick and it will leave some behind. So you wanna make sure to scoop your spoon out to get all that goodness in there with the coconut oil so we can let that melt. Now, we know that three teaspoons makes a tablespoon. So that's a total of five, we need a total of six. Remember, I have four tablespoons of coconut oil and one tablespoon so far of castor oil making five tablespoons. Of oil, we need six. So we know three teaspoons equals a tablespoon. And I wanna do just a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil. So I'm gonna do one teaspoon of vitamin E oil. I'm gonna rinse this off and do the other two teaspoons coconut oil. 
So let me rinse this off real quick. All right, I've rinsed that off. So now I'm gonna add two teaspoons of coconut oil. And with these two teaspoons of coconut oil and the teaspoon of vitamin E oil, that's gonna make our last tablespoon, making it a total of six tablespoons of oil. want to scrape that off and try to get as much of that goodness in there that I can. Alrighty, so now I'm going to move all my oils out of the way and we will get the beeswax and add that so they can all start melting together. So now I'm going to grab my organic beeswax from Halal Every Day and we're going to add three tablespoons of beeswax pellets. So there's one. There's two, and there's three. And again, I'm gonna scrape this off to make sure to get all those little pellets in there. All right, and we will let that sit and mix for a little bit. Let me show you what it looks like. Here are all those oils in the pan, in the crock pot mixing together. I've got my little whisk here. And I'm just going to mix them together and let that sit and melt. When it's melted, we'll add our other stuff. Okay, so all of our oils are melted. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of pumpkin puree. However, what I'm using is dehydrated pumpkin. <clears throat> so I don't need a whole teaspoon of that. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of this. If you're using regular pumpkin puree, you would do a full teaspoon. So I added that, and now we need a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and it says two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. So I'm just gonna grab a paper towel and wipe this off. Get all that dehydrated pumpkin off of my, oh, that's a half a teaspoon. Well, it still needs to be wiped off. I'm going to do one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin spice, I think. So there's one. And here's a half. I think I'll actually go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon. So it's going to be three quarters of a teaspoon of my dehydrated pumpkin or it would be one teaspoon of your pumpkin puree and two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. I did one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin spice and three quarters of a teaspoon of dehydrated pumpkin. And now I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I've got my vanilla extract here and I'm just going to fill that up throw that in and now we're going to mix it all together and make sure all of those spices and that pumpkin and the vanilla get in there and get well incorporated now it's going to bubble up let me show you so this is what it looks like right now in my crock pot when I mix it you see the bubbles that it's forming on top we're gonna let that sit and try to get some of those bubbles out and then we can start putting it into our chapstick tubes. Isn't that just a beautiful color? Okay, this is what it looks like after I've let it sit for about 20 minutes. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all the bubbles out of there and I don't want all my spice to settle to the bottom. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. But try to not get as not get too many bubbles in it and I'll go ahead and start filling my tubes this one the last time I made it it made 15 tubes so that's what I have out now so what I'm gonna do is basically put this dropper in here I'm gonna squeeze the top and it's gonna pull up liquid I'll probably tilt the crock pot to the side to get more and then I'll drop it in my tubes so I'm gonna set you up where you can see the tubes and I'll start filling them 
Okay, so I've got some here in my dropper and I'm just gonna drop it in. And I'm gonna attempt to get it all the way to the top of the tube. You wanna get it all the way at the top. I'm not worried about dropping it on the outside because I wipe it off with a warm cloth. But I don't know if you can see how full that one is. It's all the way at the top. I want to make sure that they're full and that when they dry, it, you know, goes all the way up to the top. I want to sell these, so I want to make sure everybody gets their money's worth. You wouldn't want to buy something and then, you know, get home and it's like half full. That's not very cool. Plus, I'm making this at a craft fair. I'm making this and selling it at a craft fair and it you know it's not like when you buy stuff at the store you know how nowadays when you go to the store and buy a bag of chips and half of it's like air or you buy some chapstick and like half of the tube is pushed up deodorant I know for sure because I'll buy deodorant and I'm like where's the rest of the deodorant it's already rolled up halfway what the crap so yeah I don't want to do that So I'm just making sure they're full all the way to the top. I got an old sheet at the bottom. That's so when if any drops on there, it just falls on the old sheet. And of course, I will wipe the outside of the bottles off or the tubes um, with a warm rag before I put the labels on. So I'm going to fill these up and we'll be right back. Well, I had a mishap and some of them spilled as you can see. But some of them are starting to dry and some of them are still wet where I've been filling them. They do have that little divot at the top. I actually tried to go back through with my first batch and add chapstick. But then when I used it, it can't like the, the part that I added would come off. Like um, it would be separate. So if I went through and tried to drop in extra where there is like, you know, you can see the little yellow part, you know. Um, it would make it another piece, unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to leave them like this. It ended up making 19 tubes this time. And if we take into account what I lost right here, it definitely would have been 20. And I'll show you what they look like when they're all um, hardened and I put the labels on them. This is what it looks like with the label on it. Um, I don't have a printer right now. I've got to get one. Mine broke. So I just wrote it. Um, I'll probably try to print the rest before I take them to go sell them. But it says organic pumpkin pie lip balm. It lists the ingredients, the coconut oil, castor oil, vitamin E oil, beeswax, vanilla, pumpkin puree that was dehydrated, and pumpkin pie spices. And it says that it's nourishing and healing because it is. Because of the, you know, vitamin E oil and castor oil, it's going to be really good for your lips, um, especially if they're sore and cracked this winter this is mine I wanted to show you what it looks like without the label and I'm gonna take the top off that's what the top looks like and I'll spin it up for you guys my camera probably won't focus while I do it but I'll still spin it up that's what the top looks like it smells amazing it, it tastes just like pumpkin pie and when I put it on my lips and walk outside my lips stay nice and moist it's got that vitamin e and castor oil in it which keeps it you know makes it real nourishing i'm really happy with this and i think that it'll probably sell really good thank you guys for watching please consider liking and subscribing the video it helps me grow have a wonderful day